Hi, this is Thesia, Havela's Family Farms, and I've got a project today way outside my wheelhouse. And when you look at it, most of you are going to go, really? Is that way outside your wheelhouse? Yeah, but I'm going to try it anyway. When we bought this camper, it was at an auction, and it was called a FEMA trailer. So we get the feeling it came from probably down to the Katrina area or from the Katrina type thing, you know. Uh, so it was not new when we bought it and uh, I don't believe it was designed necessarily to travel I mean the cabinets if you look you know these cabinets here they they shut hard and stuff so you can travel down the road with them pretty good but my medicine cabinet is not this medicine cabinet and if you look it's all cattywampus and stuff because we did take it on a trip once and and the door kept flopping and flopping and and i said tom we've got to come up with something like a magnet or something that can make it stay close because they wouldn't do it at all so when he put the when he worked on putting the magnet in he cracked the mirror well my granddaughter came through and she's slamming the doors slamming the doors because she's a kid and it started coming apart and i thought you know what i don't care i'm getting a new one and then I find out that I've gone all these years without a, a, a new one and they're only like 30 bucks. Now, my issue is, well, first of all, I had to find the right things for those. I, I need to get new glasses so bad. But apparently that's one of those little square ones, but I think I found the right bit for it. But if you look, these are not even what was originally, well, maybe they are. Yeah, so you can see where Tom put the, the other screw in to set up the magnet part. And that's when, when he did it, he busted them. Well, when he put that in, he busted the mirror. And so that's no big deal. At least I had it where it wouldn't swing open all the time. So I'm going to try to take these out. Now my measurements, my issue is my measurements are not quite right. I believe I've got it proper this way. Yes, it's dirty. Sorry. But I think that I, it's too, the one I bought is taller than this one. Which is not too surprising, but the shortest one I could find was this. This one is supposed to be something uh, approximately 15 by mm, 16, and the one I bought is 15 by 19. So I'm gonna have to figure out maybe I'm gonna take this out, look it over, and then see if I need to uh, cut it. We'll have to see. Let's check it out. Another issue I have is I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to be able to video because I am in the camper. I will try, but I may not be able to get any video of it. Uh, I just have to say, okay, this is what I did with this step. I don't know. We'll find out. Interesting. All right, here's my new one, and it came with clips to put this shelf. What did I do with the shelf? Oh, <laughs> put, put this shelf on, but there are no screws that go with it. And as you could tell by the, uh, the what I was dealing with, I don't want to use those screws. Then, So I'm going to go find something where I can uh, put this, hang this back up. Oh, and i show you a little bit. I don't know. It doesn't look... Amazing. Okay. It doesn't look... I don't know. It looks different than the other one, but uh, the, the dimensions are interesting. It should be fine. It's just kind of interesting how, how that worked out. But I'm going to see if I can go find some screws now.
Well, I had visions of putting the first screw in and putting a level on it <laughs> and I couldn't keep it up. So I guess what I'm going to have to do is later on maybe I can have Tom come and we'll, we'll back four of those screws out and level it. I, I, I just couldn't hold it up and, and put it on at the same time. So I just eyeballed it and screwed it in, but you can see it's, it's tilted like that, but it's up. That's pretty cool. Okay, so not only is it not level, but there's a slight bow in this too. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having an extra, I don't know. I have to see how tall some things are. And I may move, I can move that around. I'm not going to put anything back into the cabinet right now. Whew, goodness. I got a big old red wasp flying around in here. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to put my stuff back in it just in case I can get help with Tom to get it put back together. Uh, or get it level anyway, so... Yeah, uh -oh. can you see that wasp? He comes in quite a bit. And I usually don't care whenever I see him because, mainly because I'm sitting and being calm and not doing much, but, you know, I'm hammering and screwing and <laughs> doing stuff. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to get him wound up. <laughs> so I guess that's, I guess that's it for a while. All right, guys. I have to admit, I'm kind of proud of myself. I know that was a little thing. Actually, I was expecting it to be a lot worse. I, for some reason, you know, in regular houses, the, they cut a hole out of the wall, and then they put the, the medicine cabinet inside of it. And so I was expecting that, forgetting that, you know, there's no really wall. I mean, there's walls, but I don't know. One way or another, all I did is screwing on. And it looks like the only thing I really need to do is get them leveled better, and I can think I can get some help with that. But, hey... You know, <laughs> small victories. What can I say? <laughs> so if you like this kind of thing, <laughs> go ahead and hit like, subscribe, pass it on to somebody else who needs a little bit of encouragement or pass it on to, you know, share it with someone who's like, look at what this woman's doing. Does she not know how old she's getting? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> but, you know, guys, like I always say, live until you die. Get up off the couch. Find something to do. There's always something to do. Don't tell me you're bored and there's nothing to do. Find something. If you have to go back and think about what you used to do when you were younger, that doesn't have to necessarily be, you know, strenuous or anything, but find something to do and do it and live until you die. God bless, guys.